All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn local storage by building a to-do app. Step 29. All right. So now we're going to create an if statement to check if input, pardon me, form inputs contain values is true, right? So if this thing right here is true, uh, if it is true, indicating that there are changes, so that means there's going to be something in uh, one of these, right? Uh, we're going to use the show modal method on confirm closed dialog. So we're going to do the thing we already have right now, right? So if there is something in here, we want this box to show up. Uh, however, if there are no changes, we want to just call the reset button so that when we click this X, it'll just close this, uh, we'll just close this, what is this, the form and go back to the uh, to-do list, all right? So for this one, let's start off by wrapping this thing in a set of curly braces, all right? Since this is going to be uh, the body of the if statement, all right? So let's drop this, let's press the right arrow, drop this down, uh, go to the end and drop the other curly brace down. Let's put a space between that curly brace and where we're going to be typing, let's say if, and then let's have some parentheses and let's double click this right here and drop it in there. So if this thing is true, we're going to do this thing. We're going to show if this is true, like if that is there, we'll show this thing, all right? But if not, we'll do an else, and we're gonna call the reset on this one as well. So reset function like this. So now we come over here and there's nothing in here. We click the X and it goes right back here. Doesn't bother with showing us the modal like it does when we have some letters in there, right? Uh, let's get rid of this. And there we go, just like that. So let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Right now we're on to step 30 and we'll see you next time.